everyone, my name's Faye and this is a Married to Reselling sales video. So I've got a lot of things to show you. We've got um, eBay, Etsy, Depop and Vinted. Uh, so I don't know if you know, but I cross-listed anything I wanted cross-listed from eBay to Etsy, Depop and Vinted. And it's paying off. So I'm really, really pleased. So I will show you these bits first. So Depop is this hat. It's just a Thinsy Late hat, uh, like a Mrs. Beanie, brand new a tag. Plus 193 sold for nine pounds and then this adidas um sort of kids crop top age nine to ten this one cost 395 sold for 1084 and then vintage sold this little fossil purse this costs three pounds i took one off of 11.99 and then this dancing leopard uh little dress cost 4.99 sold for 22.19 so really happy with those and then Etsy, we had four good sales, well, three good sales and one not so great, but I couldn't bear to bin it. It's damaged paperweight, it's like a big dent in the side, but it's a beautiful paperweight, it's got a massive bubble inside. This was just in a job lot that we got, um, and this cost 5 67 and took an offer of 6 39 because why not? Um, it's Christmas! Uh, this was in a, those rubbish boxes that simon got from the auction that turned out not to be so rubbish in the end this is a mushroom soup mug vintage i've shown it to you in the in the video when you got those boxes uh this one cost a pound so for 12.99 this topton wear teapot he picked this up when he went out on his own this was in a haul video recently this cost eight pounds sold for 32.99 and then interestingly i won't take it out of the packet but this is a hornsey um biscuit barrel and we sold this once already on ebay packaged it so well it arrived broken to the buyer and she said i can't understand how it's broken you've packed it you've packed it so so well i said i'm gonna go and, i'm gonna try and repair it so we're like okay you know she tried to repair it and then changed her mind and wanted to return it so we just thought oh i can't be asked with the arguing that's fine just just return it so i relisted it as repaired and took pictures of the repair and it sold again and this one sold for 25.99 so result uh, so that's all of those marketplaces and then move on to ebay this was listed within uh sold listed and sold within 24 hours it's a fat face dress fair isle style knitted jumper dress uh, cost six pounds sold for 21.99 this is like the week uh, to make money and um, it's our favorite week of the year i know a lot of um, clothing resellers don't kind of count quarter four as sort of um like a a big sort of business time for them uh, but we do because we sell a bit of everything um we have this vintage stanley smooth plane number four um bailey nine inch long two inch cutter that costs 14.99 sold for 39.99 we've also got uh i picked this up in a charity shop it's a vintage scottish piper hip flask made of pewter made in the uk it's got like a thistle sort of engraved on it it's really cute that costs two pounds sold for 29.99 got these kickers boots brand new uh, these cost £25, sold for £55. Uh, Fairfax and Favour, a nice sort of riding, sort of country brand. This was a Christmas stocking. I picked it up last week, cost £2.95. Took an offer of £14.99. It's actually going to someone in the next village. <laughs> what are the chances? Got some poetry wide leg trousers, sort of velvet style. These were from a charity shop in October, paid $2.99, sold for $17.59. Um, we've put offers on, we've put a coupon on, we're accepting all sensible offers. Got a boat, Bowden Bay Gelee, this cost $7.95, sold for $21.59. That was listed in October, that's from a charity shop. Phase 8 dress, this cost $4.99, sold for $16.66. That was listed in October. These two impossible puzzles they're brand new penguins and gingerbread men i got those in a chaza 
They were $3.98, they sold for $19.99. We bundled them together. Simon wanted me to show you this because it's just so random. This is a book called War of Don Emmanuel's Nether Parts. When the spoilt and haughty <laughs> civilization. Great. <laughs> Don't know how much that costs. Sold for £3.14. <laughs> oh, that must have been in the job, a lot of stuff. I've got a Hobbs jumper. This is in October from a Chazza. Overpaid for this. $7.95. Took it off for a 15. I had so many people interested in it, but it just wouldn't go any higher. Um, so I admitted defeat and got it gone. As with this mint velvet, 100% silk front top. Got this in October from a Chazza. Paid £8. It was 100% silk. £15. I'm not picking up mint velvet anymore unless they're jeans. I'm not picking up cos anymore either because I just can't shift it. You might be able to, so don't take my word for it, but that's my own um, decision like moving forward for next year. We've got this Wedgwood Ice Rose Gatto plate. I said it's flat, it's in the it's in one of the crates. So I was like, that's a cake plate. I was like, gatto plate, cake plate, tomato tomato. It comes with like a cork back thing. That cost $3.99. <clears throat> that was from a Chazza in May. I got loads of um Wedgwood Ice Rose in a Chazza. That sold for $16.31. Sold two of these glasses. These the Spanish, I found out. Uh they cost a pound, sold for $14.99. <clears throat> Then we've got this Oticon Connect Line TV 2.0. Now this is uh, something to do with hearing aids. That cost £24.99, sold for £75. That was from a Chazza in October. A few people have told me who this is. It's Phineas um, and Ferb Perry the Platypus, Agent P. He's like lights up. That was £2.50 from a Chazza. In November, sold for 17.59. Kim and Co. Top cost 3.99, sold for 14.99. I think this is going to Italy. GSP, of course. It's the only way we do it. Another Kim and Co. Top. This cost 4.25, sold for 15.99. This has been returned once already because it the person's bum was too big apparently. <sighs> then we have. Do -do 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 -do. A Marvel Might of Football Avengers Captain America size 3 that cost £4 sold for £13.49 and then we've got the Game of Life Adventures Edition board game from 2010 this cost £1.99 and sold for £14.99 um, we've got other bits and bobs going out some socks some DVDs some other bits that just aren't interesting but when we were picking these this morning, we found three things that aren't listed. So they've dropped off the face of the earth. So I've got to do a stock take at some point, which I'm not looking forward to. Uh, so yeah, that's everything that's going out today. I hope you had a great weekend of sales as well. I've got a few auction bits to show you. These finished on Thursday uh, last week, so they're going out today. We are about real reselling, so not everything always makes profit. And we choose to clear out stuff that for whatever reason doesn't sell or was a bad buy or had bits missing whatever it might have been so we'll start with this one i bought this it's a big uh lego technics uh like formula one car i bought it about a year ago at auction and never got around to checking it or anything like that and i just honestly i sort of had a look at it and i noticed the motor had battery uh corrosion in there i don't know whether it got to us like that or whether that's happened in the sort of year that's been sitting around here so i just decided now is the time to uh, get rid so obviously advertised it without the motor put it on auction the plus post for the courier so plus 5.99 post that sold for 22 pounds and we bought a load of wees a while ago and this sort of little pile again was just kicking around under my desk because the unit where it wasn't putting colour on the screen properly so declared all that put that on 99p auction and that sold for 370 plus post we sold this bambini baby massage kit that sold for 99 plus post this budapest like commemorative like dakar rally thing not dakar but 
Uh, anyway, that sold for 99p plus post. Uh, a Durag sold for 99p P, P, P plus post. A sailing DVD, ooh, 104 we got for that one plus post. This Link the Ties game, I just bought it on a whim, I think, from a charity shop. Never seen it before, never sold it before. I don't think it was even available to list on Amazon, put it on eBay, never sold. Uh, I think we've had it at all sorts of low prices, but this ended up selling for 550 plus post, which was probably more um, than what I'd had it on Buy It Now for quite a while. A uh, couple of bras, M&S body bras, one nude, one white, sold to different customers for 99p plus post. Uh, this Marconi valve, no idea what that does. Uh, that sold for 99p plus post. This mint velvet um, A-line dress, UK 18. Don't, uh, don't all scream at the screen at once. Uh, there you go, didn't sell. Had it on sale for a while. Uh, went on auction, sold for 220 plus post. Uh, this brand new and sealed uh, DS game sold for 220 plus and these jockey this jockey bralette sold for 99p plus post and this sophos sophos don't know some sort of card game was in a auction bundle from ages ago as is a lot of this stuff and uh, that sold for 99p and this in tim <laughs> intermediate bra sold for 175 plus post i think that's everything oh no uh we've got a, had a few via sales recently thanks ever so much if you are watching um caroline bought some little what are they called my little ponies a oh dear i don't know what this is um headbands for kids i think this culture cami blouse xl and this evans oversized shirt and caroline spent four pounds and a penny plus post we have yahtzee don't pick this one up there's not much money in this one this one was two pounds 66 sold for 12.99 uh we also have two lots of two of these glasses again they were 50p each so a pound for two sold for 14.99 uh, we have game of life this one that cost 1.99 sold for 12.99 this is some random connects kid connects um in there that I haven't got a cost price that was in a random auction pickup uh not of toys i can't remember what it was with uh but that sold for 14.99 no it didn't it sold for 10.99 what am i talking about uh sweaty betty now i don't seem to have much luck with sweaty betty maybe it's because i only find the boring colors or patterns well i don't find patterns it's just plain uh this is a sweaty betty compound workout vest large it's like a mesh vest or string vest, I suppose, like my granddad used to wear. Um, cost five ninety five, sold for sixteen ninety nine. We have these men's Rohan trousers. Now they didn't sell for much, but I'm showing you them because they were in. Um, I can't remember where I got them from. They were two pounds, but they had a hole in the pocket, so I declared the a hole in the pocket. Just listed them for nine ninety nine, and they sold straight away. I thought um, I didn't think they would, but brilliant. Uh, we have this Euro Disney adventure, ad adventurous uh, Mickey mug that cost three pounds from a Chazza. Listed that recently, actually. That was in a haul video that we've just put out. That sold for eighteen ninety nine and is going to France. GSP Victoria's Secret chemise, or yeah, that's how you say it, isn't it? Thirty six B, brand new with tags, cost four ninety nine. I had loads of interest in it, but I just couldn't sell it, and it ended up going for fifteen ninety nine. That was from a Chazza. Uh, we also have some woodsware plates, the yellow ones. These are jasmine. That's the name of the design. They cost four pounds, sold for nineteen ninety nine. And then we think these sold to a viewer, uh, someone called Laura. If that's you, if you're watching, hello. Thank you. You bid on a load of our ninety nine p auctions. We've got this job lot of playing cards. Now these Simon listed the other day and by mistake he 
he was meant to put them as auction, starting price 99p, and he put them buy it now, 99p, free post. Someone bought them and he had to um, sort of cancel it and apologise, and they told him to be more careful in future. Um, so, yeah, someone got those, Laura got those for 4.99, I think, along with some um, trainer socks, brand new with tags for 99p, some Jojo sure, sure, Mama Bebe, uh, kids' tights, some Campbell mousse. <laughs> Body wash grapefruit, two bottles of that, and a pure collection t shirt size 18. I think that's it. So, thank you for shopping with us if that was you. I'm just gonna show you a couple of things because I need to get them packed up for UPS, and then Faye will do everything in a little while. Uh, so, this is a Panasonic, I know it's upside down. I I'm going to turn it upside down the right way up because it's all loose inside. I haven't packed it up yet, but this is a Panasonic DMR uh, DVD player HD re recorder, recorder, uh, Blu ray. I've had it ages, and it was one of those things where I was just kind of waiting to hook it up to a monitor and all the rest of it. Bought it last year for £53 at auction total, uh, and I listed it for £250 a couple of days ago. Uh, and I got an offer for 140 which I just accepted because it had been kicking around that long. wanted to get it out the door, so that's quite nice. And then the stop lock uh, came back. Sold this maybe a month ago. The guy spent, I think he paid 36 99 originally. And when he arrived, he was very nice, but he just said, oh, I didn't realise it, it was quite as sort of used as it is. I mean, we took really good pictures of of everything you know it's a bit rusty and stuff but it is what it is that's how we advertised it so he sent it back and then we've just resold it for 32.99 now originally it cost us a fiver but of course we ate the cost of the outgoing post the first time the one that was returned customer paid to good to get it back to us um but so really truly the cost is 11 quid uh, plus you know the packing time and everything uh, so cost 11 pounds got out for 32.99 it's fine these things happen refunds uh, just part of retail they happen for everybody we've got a pair of my salad pets uh, sold on our personal account they sold for 24.99 which is good because I've worn them they've done their job I don't need them anymore because pink salad pets are just not for me uh, black ones next time I go skiing um, if I go skiing, <laughs> uh, Nike FC Barcelona Flash SL Top Large. Um, this was four pound from a Chaza. Got for uh, sold for five. Sold for fifteen pounds. Um, we've got these plates. Simon picked these up last week. They were in a recent haul video. They're Denby Reflex medium lunch plates four of them they were 325 for the four he actually bought a bundle and i broke the cost down they sold for 24.99 they're going abroad to um they're going to ireland via gsp it's got a mint velvet gravy next star jumper this is sold once come back I just can't sell mint velvet at the moment, so I'm not picking it up anymore unless it's jeans. I think I said that already. Uh, that cost six fifty, sold for twenty pounds. We've got a Yahtzee. This one cost two sixty six, sold for twelve ninety nine. We've got a nineteen eighty two Yahtzee. This cost two pounds, sold for sixteen ninety nine. And we've got this Ravensburger Cotswolds Reflections thousand piece puzzle, cost three pounds. We sold it for twelve ninety nine, but it's got a piece missing, so hence the lower price but they do still sell if you declare that there's a piece missing or two pieces or whatever or unchecked and we also sold on our personal account some christmas baubles some little christmas crackers and some other bits that we don't put on our tree anymore um can't remember how much that sold for but not much um, but it's good to clear some space we're up early doing this early so there's less orders which is a shame the car's getting a new tire so what a great day um we have a few bits and bobs going out we have the world's most difficult jigsaw puzzle smiley faces 500 piece double-sided that cost two pound from a chaza listed this month so for 12.99 
Um, we have, I haven't taken out the wrapper, but it's been in a haul video. This Hornsey Fleur um, teapot that was listed this month. It cost £2.38, sold for £18.39. These are all eBay sales, by the way. Um, this guy finally sold, had a lot of interest. He's the Dickens Carol Singer from 1997. Uh, cost 750 sold for 25.99 that was listed at the end of november we have a wedgwood ice rose gravy boat and saucer that was a chasm pickup uh, cost 6.99 back in may and i've reduced the price because it wasn't shifting and just uh, we're letting it go for 12.74 we have this liar liar board game we were getting over 20 pound for this last year and um, but the popularity has dropped off and it sold for 7.99 cost three pound listed in may and these are in a recent haul video these are cozy feet pure wool shoes size eight uh, they cost 5.99 listed this month sold for 24.99 lovely vintage sale going out today ups the buyer actually chose ups which is unusual uh this sold well this cost me 3.99 from a chaser this month and it sold for 30 pounds start off with catherine from from a facebook uh needed this head-to-head -head end game thing for pointless she got in touch with us on our facebook group which is um if you look underneath the video with our links and stuff and um, all the information is there and it's like a spares kind of group so people can swap bits and bobs out of incomplete games so that will be going out in the post to catherine today um we have three Etsy sales. We have these lovely pineapple wooden dishes. They're so nice. They're wooden, made in like uh, handcrafted somewhere in the Pacific. Can't see where. Um, but these cost one ninety nine and sold for eight sixty three in the end. Couldn't get rid of them, which I was most surprised about. Also sold this paperweight on Etsy, this is an old one, uh, this was £2.87, sold for £8.79. The birds are going mad, I don't know if you can hear them, is it, it's no particular brand. And also, I haven't got it here, but it's here on the screen. This is just me showing it on Instagram, so I did have some video of it, but I'd already packed it up for UPS, which is why she couldn't show it. Um, the Denby Reflex teapot, sugar pot and milk jug that Simon picked up the other day, that cost £3.25 and sold £39.99. I haven't got it in my hands because UPS have already picked it up today. So that's the Etsy sales. Then we've got some eBay sales. We have some more Denby Reflex. Uh, cups and saucers, four of them. They sold for £22.99. The whole set that Simon got cost £12. Um, so we are really pleased with that. We've got, move these out of the way, we have this backgammon and chess travel case game, this was 4 dollars from a Chazza I think and it sold for 19 dollars we also have the vintage house martin backgammon set that you picked up in a Chazza, that was £2.50, that sold for $29.99, that backgammon set was listed this month um and this one was listed in november so quick sales and then we've also got a dingbats game that sold uh this was listed in december and it cost two pounds and sold for 19.99 so some great games going out there we have now hush not as in be quiet hush the clothing brand i just I picked this up, thought even though it was a size 6 it would sell really quickly, it didn't. I even put it on the Facebook um, group, uh, not the games one, but the Mint Velvet and Hush Facebook group. And it cost me £4.50 in a Chazza back in September. Someone did actually want it straight away as soon as I listed it, but my Facebook account got hacked and got closed straight after and I think she thought I was dodgy. Um, so i never got to sell it to her um and it sold for 13.99 on an offer couldn't wait to get it gone we also have a rohan skirt this is from a chaza in september cost three pound fifty couldn't sell it ended up taking an offer for 9.99 we have a coffee cup somewhere these were in a job lot from the auction uh, circular and co uh this cost 4.94 sold for 13 not great but it was in the bag so might as well list it 
a mint velvet top like i said a million times in this video i'm not picking mint velvet up anymore unless it's just jeans or something really special that cost 6.50 in august from a chas i sold for nine pounds uh, this poetry check shirt dress this is a size six possibly should have left it behind because the size is so small cost me eight pound fifty sold for 15 so again another fail and we have this cos funnel neck uh drawstring uh, detailed top hello simon thousand subscribers oh yeah we made it to a thousand <laughs> subscribers and this is the first time that we've been able to uh kind of mention it because everything was recorded before you reached it thank so you if you're one of the thousand thank you so much we really appreciate it i had to interrupt and uh just say thanks it means a lot doesn't it yeah and we really hope that you continue to enjoy our videos We've got lots in the pipeline ready to go so stay tuned okay now go and make me a drink <laughs> <laughs> um yeah this cos funnel neck drawstring detailed top uh paid 13 pound for this totally overpaid uh got it in october from a chaza sold for 18 pound i think it's going to australia gsp and we have this barometer this is the second barometer we've sold i picked up one um sort of in the autumn and it sold really quickly on etsy actually uh, so i picked that one up it's a completely different shape this is a shortland barometer flower shape and that cost £10, sold for £23.99. Definitely overpaid on that. Some lessons to be learnt here. But I'm taking all decent offers just to get some money back and start the, new, uh, the year afresh, a new year afresh. Um, we've got a couple of paperweights that sold on eBay somewhere. This Selkirk glass paperweight Charisma. It's really pretty. There you go. It's like hard to see because my jumper's pink as well um that cost £2.87 sold for £14.99 £14.99 seems to be the average selling price of paperweights for us um so if we can get them for a couple of quid then we're happy to do that and this one cost £2.87 so these were both in the same job lot from an auction and this one sold for £12.99 it's got like insects sort of bugs depicted inside these turtles so a bit of a story behind these turtles they're little mini figures these are in a haul video from when I went out on my own. Got these, I think it must have been November. Yeah, paid £1.50 for them. They sold for £14.99. So I think it was someone in Italy wanted to buy them GSP. So they did. And then they messaged saying they wanted them quicker. Could we send um, like expedited? And we said, yeah, we can send it expedited to the GPS. Um, not GPS. GSP. It's too cold, my brain's not working. The GSP centre, but he'd have we'd have to cancel the order and he'd have to reorder again and choose that option when he paid. For two days, well he cancelled the, the order, then he was messaging us for like two days, and in the end bought them again, but didn't pay for expedited uh, to GSP. So he's wasted two days, um, when if he had just stuck with his original order, they'd be well on their way now. So yeah, maybe it was a breakdown in um, communication, he didn't speak great English, so I don't know. Um, but we tried, we tried to help him. Uh, so yeah, oh, and we've got some more of those beer glasses going out today. We've got two lots of two of these Spanish beer glasses. They were uh, 50p each, so a pound for two. One, they both, both pairs sold for 14.99, so really happy with that. And that is everything that is going out today. We've got, I've got loads to list today. I've taken loads of photos. So I want to get everything that I sourced yesterday uh, listed. And then it's like kind of wind down for Christmas. Well, when I say wind down, I mean wind up the house, get it all ready for Christmas. So I haven't put a tree up yet. Uh, so yeah, thank you so much for the 1,000 subscribers. I mean, wow couldn't believe it really chuffed uh, we hope you like our videos uh, we like doing them for you we hope that we're able to teach and and help you with things and just provide entertainment we just we're, we're completely ourselves in our videos uh, what you see is what you get and um, if we ever get to meet any of you in person you'll be able to um, see that we did meet some people last weekend but um, there's so many more people that uh, we'd love to meet and you'll see that we are exactly the same in our videos as we are of our videos so yeah don't forget if you haven't subscribed please subscribe like comment find us over on instagram and uh, we will see you again soon bye for now